Hey guys, what's up? Red Panda Mining here. How are y'all doing? Today, guys, I'm going to take a look at the AMD Memory Tweak, which is aka the AMD Ethereum pill. So, some of you have known the ETH enlargement pill. Uh, that was for the NVIDIA cards that had GDDR5X memory, uh, notably the GTX 1080s and 1080 Ti's. So, now there is a release from a guy named Elio VP. He's a Belgian mining enthusiast. <laughs> uh, he uh, just released this about four days ago. Three, yeah, four days ago. Yeah, I'm gonna go through it here and try it on my Radeon 7. Well, attempt to anyway. So Let's just read the overview here real quick. So AMD Memory Tweak lets you read and change memory timings at all times. Support, there's support for GDDR5 based GPUs, as well as HBM and HBM2 based GPUs. And it's right now it's only Linux only. So uh, system requirements, AMD Radeon GDDR5, HBM, HBM2 based GPUs, and a a AMD GPU-Pro or the ROCM uh, driver. And that's just, talk yeah, that's talking about the drivers. Okay, so before I begin, I want to just go through where I found it. I found it on uh, Bitcoin Talk. Uh, somebody was talking about it online, and here is the post about it that Elio VP posted. So he was able to get, so normally you get 44 mega hash on a regular Vega 64. And then with his tweak, he was able to get another four or five mega hash. Uh, then to 40, 47 or 48 mega hash. So a little bit of a bump. Uh, I'm curious to see what the like RX 570 or 580 cards would do. I, I haven't seen any pictures about that yet. But um, going through the Bitcoin talk, uh, this thread, on the fourth page... Uh, there's a member named uh, J Fox One, and he is the or one of the guys from Minerstat.com, and he apparently got to work. Oh no, sorry, he got one of the users reported the increase from 38 mega hash to 52 mega hash on his Vegas. So that's that's a pretty big jump, and I'm wondering if on my on my Radeon 7, if I'm getting normally 90 or 88 mega hash. Can I get maybe, you know, 110, 120? Who knows, right? Who knows? But let's 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 just uh, let's just see. Uh, here's another example of the um, memory tweak. Uh, so these are Vegas and he's getting 48 mega hash, 47, 47. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna be testing it on minerstat.com. Uh, minerstat.com they are a crypto mining monitor and management software. They have um, the Windows, a Windows app, a Windows software for if you want to mine on Windows, as well as a dedicated mining OS, which is the Linux based one. And they have apparently an ASIC monitoring one. So the reason why I'm trying these guys is because there is a post that they made like a day after about the memory tweak that they've implemented the memory tweak into their software. Basically, yeah, I'm I'm gonna try it here. They have some examples uh, to get the current applied values, enter AMD mem tool, dash dash current, and then they have a HBM2 example. So HBM2, that's the Radeon 7, and they got a AMD mem tool, dash I0, and then dash dash FA12, whatever that means. I don't know, they have, a, I don't know what, what these, parameters mean but they have a bunch of parameters here that you can change on the card to uh, get the hash rate that you want so and here are the GDDR5 parameters as well so you some of you guys have you guys got RX cards 580s 570s or 4 480s 570s you can try it you can try this I'm I'm curious so yeah let's let's get started I, I want to let you guys know first that I actually did try to do this on Linux initially in Ubuntu and it took me about 10 or 12 hours with a bunch of people from my discord and we I, I just couldn't 
get it to work really well. It, it didn't really change that much uh, in my testings in Ubuntu 18.04.1 manually. But with minor stat, I guess I'm, I'll, I'll be able to do some uh, overclocks and under undervolting and uh, the mem clock tool. So let's let's try that. So I've already gone ahead and download downloaded their mining OS, uh, their experimental version, uh, latest version in using beta drivers support RX 500, GTX, RTX, Vega, and the Radeon 7. So that's one. That's the one I'm going to use because it has my Radeon 7 there. So I've already downloaded that, um, as well as I've already flashed it on a 32 gigabyte SanDisk USB. Let me uh, go take it out now and plug it in and I'll see if I can get my first worker there. Be right back. Alright guys, there's a few things I have to do before I take out the USB. So first we got to add a worker. Uh, into the minor stat here. So I've just called it Radeon 7 type AMD and M minor stat OS and then click on add worker. And it will update something here. Okay, so now it's got a nice I like I really like the UI. User interface is pretty sweet. Okay, so I already went ahead and downloaded the software. Uh, it shows the access key and worker name. So now we have to open up our USB that we just created and we got to open up the JS, uh, JS file here. So let's go into here, go into the config, click on right click and edit. And here is where we enter our access key and worker name. Okay, so let's go here, access key and the change me so I'm just gonna put that there and the rate worker name Radeon 7 pop that guy right there okay uh, click on save close and that's it um, now we got to let's eject it and we will plug it into the computer uh, into the rig which you guys can see right there which uh, give me a second I'll be right back all right, guys. So I got minor stat working. Uh, USB is plugged in, and after a couple minutes, the website, the GUI, the U user interface has found my rig, and it already began mining. So it's mining to a demo pool, twominers.com, and you can see it's utilizing 244 watts on the card, and I'm getting about 85 mega hash, and my temperature is at 109 degrees. I'm gonna assume that's the junction temperature, so that's that's okay. the 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 hash rate should be about 90 mega hash, but I think the card is thermal throttling, so we're gonna undervolt and overclock a little bit. All right, so we're in clock tune, and we just go click on Add New Profile. We put in the profile name, or in this case, it'll be Radeon 7. And I click on AMD. And now we got to enter in the uh, the voltage as well as the core clock, mem clock, fan speed, all that good stuff. So I'm going to take the settings that I did yesterday's video. Uh, so we're going to go for the power save hash rate. So let's go ahead and type in 1724 for the core, uh, 1100 for the memory, and it was 940 for the voltage here, 940. Okay, that's it. And then fan speed, we'll we'll just do a hundred, so to keep this thing cool, and save changes. Okay, and the settings have been changed, and that's it. So now we'll just uh, we'll wait for the settings to take effect. Okay, I forgot to show you guys a step, but basically I had to add the clock tune profile to the worker, which I just did. And then you have to make sure that you restart the uh, machine so that the profile will take effect. Okay, so now we got the wattage, uh, sorry, the hash rate at around 86.4 mega hash. Uh, as you can see in Windows, I was getting about 87 or 88 with Phoenix 
Uh, but let, let's take a look at the wattage, 174 watts. And then the system wattage is 292, or 290, sorry. And in Windows, I was getting about 280 or 282. So I'm getting a little bit lower hash rate and a little bit more wattage in minor stat, but that's okay. The main thing we want to test out here is the AMD memory tweak tool. Alright guys, so we are remoted in locally. So now we are going to log into it and the default login is minor stat and password is MSOS. And we're in. Okay, so we're going to see where the memory tweak tool is and it's probably in bin. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different tools in here. We got the Oh God and Ethan Largent pill, Overclock Vega, Vega 7. Uh, we got some other tools here. But the main thing we want to try is the AMD Memory Tweak uh, stable or the non stable one. I'm not sure. So let's just see first um, how do we open it. So I think it's sudo dot amd mem or memory tweak and then we wanna see and then we hit enter okay so yeah it'll open up the tool basically it'll show you the command line options uh, dash dash help dash dash gpu dash dash current list current timing values and then these are all the parameters that we can use to edit uh, the memory timings on the card. So let's go and do um, dash dash current and see what comes up here. Okay, so this, as you can see here, these are the timings for the card, the Radeon 7 that I got here. And it's shown here, Radeon 7 specifically. I, <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what any of this stuff means. Um, so we are going to try uh, the HBM2 example usage. So they got here AMD mem tool I uh, dash I zero and three five. That's that's just the um, listing the GPUs. So we only have one. So it's going to be GPU zero, and then uh, dash dash fa twelve and dash dash RFC two oh eight. So let's take note here, the hash rate we got so far is 86.465 and let's go ahead and do these two things. So dash I for selecting the GPU and then we're going to go dash dash FA12 dash dash RFC 208. Alright, let's hit enter. Okay, it says successfully applied and Will the hash rate change? I don't think so, guys. <laughs> this this similar situation happened to me when I was testing it on the uh, manual manually in Linux when I installed Ubuntu myself. I didn't see any changes on the Radeon 7, but people are claiming that they are getting a bump in hash rate by like four or five on the Vega 64s. So there's uh. Yeah, I don't know. I've done. I've already done a few testings. Okay, so it's. It, I don't know. The mega hash has gone up a little bit. Okay, let's try and change. Let's try and change one setting here. Let's go fa. Let's go fa nineteen. And I saw a setting that somebody changed the ref. So let's just make sure we're using the right parameter here. Uh, ref ref reference so we're gonna go ref let's go 16,000 enter okay and the ref settings are applied and let's just see if the hash rate goes up or down it was at 4 uh, 0.44 before now it's at 0.46 and now what's it gonna be Let's see if it changed anything. The FA19 and reference 16,000. Uh, looks like it's not changing. Oh, oh, okay. It went up a little bit. We're at 86.499 mega hash. 
So, I think that did something, but not a lot. Anyways, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just showing you how to do it. Your results may vary, basically. So, please, let me know if you guys will try this. Whether it be in minor stat or in Ubuntu or any other Linux platform. I believe some people have gotten gotten it working in Hive OS as well. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. And uh, if you think this is cool, pretty much uh, boosting your mem memory clock timings in uh, your AMD cards. So similar to what happened with the Ethan Largement pill, but for NVIDIA cards. Okay guys, please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.